Go ahead. All right. So we have a supersaturated solution. There's more that can normally be dissolved in there at room temperature. It's very unstable. One way to get it to come out of its supersaturated state is just by vibrating it. Sometimes when I set it on the desk, that's enough for it to come out of its supersaturated state. Or the coolest way is by adding a seed crystal. So seed crystals of sodium acetate will allow those ions that are in their supersaturated state to recognize the crystal structure of these sodium acetate crystals and they'll be attracted to it. And as that seed crystal gets bigger, more will be attracted to it. And as that gets bigger, more will be attracted to it and exponentially gets large, larger until it goes back to its saturated state. Let me show you. Just a couple crystals. And if you zoom in, you might be able to see that sort of suspended in the middle of the solution there. And then those at the front of the room in just a moment will be able to see that begin to grow. Can you all see that? So now, when that crystal finishes growing, what type of solution will I have again? So it's gone from super saturated back to its... Well, let me pick this up and just hold it at an angle for you. And you guys can see that there's much of the solution here. This part of it's completely saturated, isn't it? And you can see the large crystal that we've made at the bottom. It looks almost like a solid chunk of ice, doesn't it? Now also, when you feel the bottom of this flask, it feels quite warm. And we'll talk about why that's so in just a sec. 